What's up YouTube? Welcome to Bible Wisdom. You know, I wanted to make a video about faith alone. You know, we have to remember going to the book of James that faith alone is dead. You know, um, he, James brings out a good point about Abraham that his faith wasn't made perfect until he actually worked out his faith. Remember the Bible says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. And so, um, you know, just because you believe in Jesus, I'm not saying that you, you won't necessarily be saved, but there is no reason for you to tell other people, you know, oh, don't get baptized or you don't need to get baptized. If someone is watching your video or watching you, uh, tell them about faith in Christ it doesn't really make sense to say to them you know oh you don't need to get baptized because it, it could be confusing and so for anyone watching this video if you don't necessarily have some sort of disability or you're like strapped to a hospital bed or something and you you can't get baptized or i heard someone say something about you know pneumonia or something where you can't get into water well um i don't i i'm not god but i can't be the authority on that but i can say that you know there is an example of the thief on the cross who uh believed in jesus and you know he he died after jesus and so um he didn't necessarily get baptized or anything but he did kind of have maybe we could say he worked he worked in some unknown way that it wasn't revealed because he was on the cross you know he couldn't go to church and you know tithe he couldn't go to church and get baptized but he said he he didn't really say oh jesus i believe in you or i mean he implied it but all he said was remember me when you come into your kingdom that's all he said and so i don't think we could tell people who accept jesus like on their deathbed or you know accept jesus and they never make that way to uh you know to get baptized or to do any other good works that they aren't saved so that's not necessarily what this video is about but i do want to say that there is no reason for you to not do good works you know that's the whole point of james making it in james chapter 2 verse 14 is that you know he he said in the beginning can faith save him you know, if someone says, you know, I have faith, you know, can faith save him? And it doesn't say faith alone, but really the question is, you know, also is can faith alone save him? And so he doesn't necessarily say it can't, but he does seem to imply that it can't. And so you're really taking a risk if for some reason you're watching this video and you haven't gotten baptized like that's the foundation of your your beginning of faith is like this video is not going to be about baptism because you know that's what you should already have done in in putting your faith in christ and so we are instructed to go on to perfection meaning go on to more mature things to become more complete in christ and so faith plus works could be you know yes it may not be necessarily uh a deal breaker with salvation if a christian cusses uses cuss words but your work coupled with your faith could say you know uh, i don't want to cuss anymore because i'm a christian because i'm following christ and i'm putting my faith into action or your faith could be, you know what, I'm not going to drink alcohol anymore because of uh, my faith in Christ. 
or your faith could be i'm not going to drink alcohol to get drunk anymore like i used to and that could be your faith in christ your faith could be your work could be oh i'm not going to lie anymore you know i'm going to turn away from lying that's going to be my work in christ now there are examples in the bible of people being saved and um they did sin for example um in the book of corinthians uh it should be first corinthians uh there is an example of paul saying it, we don't he didn't really fully give the full conclusion but he did imply that the man would be saved who was committing incest paul said hand him over to satan for the destruction of his flesh but that his spirit may be saved and so uh it seemed to be that he was handed over to the enemy for the destruction of his flesh which could mean his physical body but it could also mean his uh flesh of flesh nature his flesh nature which caused him to commit incest and adultery and so there are examples of that where you know some people did die ananias and sapphira they died because they lied directly to the holy spirit or kind of indirectly but they died and so um It's not to say that if you do continue in those sins, uh, you won't necessarily be saved, but you're really taking a risk. And also, um, there's no reason for you to not do good works, even though people are really preaching like, oh, it's faith alone. You know, you don't need to do works. Well, there's no really necessary reason to be preaching that why even like hound people over the head with with that you know argument if you're really you know trying to help the person then you can't be saying you know uh you know making people believe that they don't have to get baptized or they don't have to you know change their life and so it's not necessarily necessary, even though in a technical way, it could be technically right, you know, that they could be saved. But, you know, there are examples of people who practice certain things who continue in that sin. It says that they will not inherit the kingdom of God. And so the Bible doesn't give an indication about you know how many times they've done it or uh it just kind of says like they are continually practicing that and one of the things that jesus said is that jesus said that uh if you don't continue in his word that you can die in your sins and so um the purpose of this video is really just to say what are you doing with your work with your faith you know um you want to be profitable to the lord that could be as simple as making a youtube video it could be you know starting a youtube channel it could be um ushering at work at church it could be um you know volunteering at church it could be you know like i gave earlier the those examples of how you change your life maybe you quit smoking cigarettes you maybe you could quit smoking other things maybe you stop hanging out at the bar maybe you you know there's a whole bunch of things that you can do it works james gives the example of how you can be giving to people in need he says how how can you say to someone oh be warm and filled you know and it's kind of like expressing your faith like oh i believe in jesus 
you know, I believe in God. And that's and that's all you say, but you don't actually give someone warm clothing or warm food. And so that's what we have to remember is that, you know, we have to couple our faith with works. And so James said how, um, you know, he, he can show you his faith by his works and by what he is choosing to do. And that's how his faith was going to be made perfect. And he even gave the example of Abraham. His faith wasn't completed. I think James uses the word, excuse me. I think James uses the word um, fulfilled. But he said how uh, Abraham's faith wasn't made ready. It wasn't fulfilled until he actually worked out his faith. Abraham got circumcised. Abraham, you know, not not that you should get circumcised. You shouldn't get circumcised. But um, Abraham uh, believed in God, but he coupled that belief with action. He he I think James mentioned the the work that Abraham did, which was uh, sacrificing his son Isaac on the altar. And that's what James uh, Abraham did and James was bringing out is that you know Abraham believed the Lord God counted it to him as righteousness but then his faith was made perfect by the work that he did and so that's what we have to remember is that okay we have faith we have the foundation of yes i believe but let's take it to the next level and go on to maturity so anyway hope you found this uh video helpful hope you got something from this video um and this you can find more um on washi.com that's w-a-s-h-y-e.com um for more bible-based content for more bible videos um you know, we have to, you know, another way to act out your faith is to practice the commands of Jesus, uh, which he said was forgiveness. He said, do unto others what you would have them do to you. He said, uh, deny yourself. He said, repent. He said, um, don't judge and don't condemn others, you know, and, uh, that's those commands are brought out even more in the rest of the new testament so if you don't know what those mean those words mean definitely look them up or um you know do your own research and so thanks so much and i will talk to you on the next video see ya